Wall Street strategists are desperately trying to assess what markets are pricing in with respect to the Russia-Ukraine war. But most will agree stocks are positioning for an economic slowdown very soon. Deutsche Bank Chief Global Strategist Binky Chada joins us now. Binky, always nice to get some time with you here. We just had Michael Tran on from RBC talking about the potential for gas in that $5 to $6 uh, range uh, average nationwide. What does that do to the economy? What does that do to the stock market? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, the first thing actually to note uh, in the event that, uh, you know, anybody hasn't already uh, uh, done that is to keep in mind sort of, you know, how uh, equity markets have behaved historically around geopolitical risks. And that is really of a sharp sell off, but most importantly, it's been short lived. So the average pattern historically would be, you know, three weeks down, bottom 6% from where you were and, 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 and recovering prior levels basically in another three weeks. And I think that, uh, you know, in, in the equity market uh, playbook uh, in the short term around geopolitical risks, you know, really applies uh, more generally to financial markets and risk. And I would say, you know, even oil prices have uh, some element uh, of that. So I would, uh, you know, keep that in mind. That's uh, the first point that I would make. The second point I would make is that, you know, after this sort of six week period on average, you know, the markets just sort of went back to the trajectory that was, you know, that was determined basically by the economic fundamentals that were prevailing before and, and, you know, whether or not the event basically changed them. And here is where, you know, basically uh, 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 there is a lot of uncertainty, which is basically how long does the conflict go for? Uh, 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 but, you know, the, 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 the price action, for example, this morning, uh, you know, is, is, is a good indicator of sort of how the market is positioned. And so, you know, when the second derivative is not uh, getting worse, the second derivative on the geopolitical risk uh, may even be slightly positive. You know, it's an issue that we can debate. But when it's a hint and a risk out there, you know, you're seeing these uh, vertical moves up, uh, for example, with uh, European equities up 5% this morning. Uh, so, so, you know, that is uh, 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 my caution, my warning, and uh, my lesson from the past. Now, how exactly this works out, you know, uh, 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 is going to drive things, but positioning is already very low. It's uh, pretty short, as we can see in uh, the squeeze that's happening uh, this morning. So, Binky, um, that is a, a bit more positivity than we've been hearing <laughs> writ large, I would say. Um, and so this also just suggests um, that you don't think as sort of a second derivative effect that we will see manufacturers, for example, react to this latest surge in commodity prices by in turn raising prices more. And then, you know, you know and at some point there, one would think there's a concern about consumer spending. It, it sounds right. like you don't think maybe this is going to be protracted enough to cause that. So I think there will be, uh, uh, you know, big differences basically uh, regionally. Um, in the U.S., you know, there's no doubt that basically uh, oil prices have gone up, uh, you know, for the U.S. consumer. And, and there's a lot of focus basically on uh, the pump price. But uh, if you, you know, look at the current uh, 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 oil price you know, and, 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 and we look at it in real terms, which I would argue is what matters when you compare oil prices historically. I mean, we were at the current levels, you know, certainly we got here very, very quickly, but the actual level oil prices today in real terms is what it was all through the Arab Spring. And, and that was sort of, you know, more time when uh, oil prices, you know, it, 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 it had come down from where they were in 2008, uh, but they were, you know, it, 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 I mean, they were not uh, alarmingly uh, elevated. Uh, and, 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 you know, if you look back to uh, 2008, uh, which is uh, the highest oil prices basically in real terms, you know, uh, we were a lot higher uh, than where we are, uh, 50 to 70 percent higher. So I would say, you know, from those kinds of levels, which many economists, including the NBER, you know, attributed the recession that began before the global financial crisis uh, in part or in major part, basically, to that increase in oil prices, um, we are quite a ways from there right now. Uh, in, in, you know, but, but I think that basically, uh, you know, household and corporate balance sheets are in extremely good shape. Uh, 
you know, as a result of, you know, policy largesse, if you want to call it that, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 around the pandemic and after. And so it, 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 beyond the direct impact of oil prices, the other linkages for the U.S., I would argue, are, you know, not 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 huge. I mean, sure, you know, we don't know what the impact on confidence would be like. And, and again, there is the uncertainty about how the conflict actually gets resolved. And, and, and that's going to drive mm-hmm. things down. Pinky, uh, in the 20 seconds we have left here, gas prices on the rise, likely to get that first rate hike in a couple weeks from the Fed. What is the fair value uh, for the S&P 500? Fair value for the S&P 500? Um, it, 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 you know, it, 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 I, I don't have a fair value here. I would say, you know, uh, at the end of the day, it's driven by demand and supply. So, you know, it's still pretty constructive as to where we get to you know, by year end on the assumption that, uh, you know, the, the the second derivative on geopolitical risk, you know, might wor- worsen over the next four weeks or so. But, uh, you know, we should, uh, uh, you know, the way I would think about today is there's a whiff of basically the market seeing and looking to the other side of this conflict. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's going to be an interesting few weeks for sure. Deutsche Bank Chief Global Strategist Binky Chada, always good to see you.